Good morning. Off to Goland for some snippet pixie dev today. So where were we last session? Okay, I think we had finished uh, doing the date stuff. That's right. Um, and we've done the cursor placeholder as well. Um, although we've yet, yet to actually use that for real. Um, so yes, yeah, so we've got the date time stuff working for the snippets placeholders. Okay, so that means we've got a couple more things to go. Um, let's check the docs. What else have we got? The biggie is snippets, snippets. So you can have a snippet within a snippet. Um, and that's quite difficult. And then obviously the clipboard as well, um, which will be interesting. We'll have to see how we do that. Um, let's do snippet because that's um, an area that I know I can do all within Go without hopefully too much of an issue. Um, and then if we've got time, have a look at clipboard. Not sure we'll get to that today though. But we'll have a go. So we're going to do snippets within snippets. So, okay. Um, let's start off with a test. Uh, we'll just nix some of this. Uh, we'll take... Let's think. We want to need quick any... Yeah, okay, we'll take this one. Oh, hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, so testing this is going to be problematic from the package. Because... It should really happen. It should always happen in the daemon because we're going to have to go grab snippets and see if they exist. Hmm. That is problematic, actually. I forgot I was going to have to think about that. Um. Okay, so at the moment we've got this um, public package. Um, I guess we're going to have to use the API. But that's not going to happen. We're basically going to need to pass in all the snippets that we are aware of, I guess. Which is quite a hit on memory. Hmm. That is going to be troublesome. I don't really want to have... All that happening there. Hmm. I wonder, maybe I should move that package into where the data is. Maybe really it should be part of the manager where the data is and we have easy access to stuff. Because otherwise we're going to be going over the D-Bus to grab stuff. Which is not very efficient when we've got a database right there 
in the manager full of all the data we need. Hmm. Yep, I think I made a mistake with where I put the uh, placeholders. Okay. Well, what do we do with it then? So we've got here, we've got interface. We're extending the manager by adding these things here. Add snippet, get snippet, so on. I guess we could use, we could do expand snippet here. I'm just wondering whether we could actually just do a get snippet with or without expanded body. It could be quite a lot of work doing all the expansion, so I should be careful about that. So maybe maybe we just stick to doing an individual one for the moment. We pass a snippet. Or at least an abbreviation. So I could actually have something like this. Get snippet with uh, get expanded snippet with abbreviation. It could basically call this with abbreviation. If it gets a good snippet, it could then expand the body. As part of the expansion. It could then iterate over itself, basically. if it finds a snippet. Hmm. That might work. I think that'll be okay because it's not not doing transactions.
And if you really need to, we can do get snippy with ID. I don't think there's any need for that. But it has the same result. Yeah, I think we can do that. Okay, now the problem is, now I need to move these things. Right, there's nothing open, is there? Uh, yeah, clean, other than test files. Okay, so. Let's Okay, I'm gonna close these things. I'm gonna actually I'll quickly check what we've got here. Yeah, this is all gonna have to change. Yeah, it's a real shame actually. It'd be nice to have snippets self contained, but. Unless I give them. Unless I pass in all the snippets so you can go find them fast. I could pass in a map, like abbreviation as the uh, key. And then the body as the value. But that's a lot of data being thrown around just for the expansion. It's going to have to work on. It's going to have to happen on the day, uh, on the daemon. I probably would have only used the package, so the placeholders in the daemon anyway. So I think they need to move. Okay, let's see what happens when we do that. So we're going to just move it into the manager. Yeah, because it definitely needs to be in there. Okay. Now things should be... Uh, oh, that's updated the manager. That's good. Now we need to update some bits and bobs. Let's do, right, well, they all seem to be okay. I've got 
got the body. That's all kind of self-contained stuff at the moment. A reasonably pure functions. Not too bad. It's only here that we've got an issue. Um, so this is going to have to change. So what we're going to have to do is have something like uh, what's well going to be a manager, isn't it? So um, uh, what am I doing elsewhere? Just M manager, yeah. And then we're going to have to pass in a snippet. Hmm. Do we need the whole snippet? Okay. There's a bunch of ways we could do this. So we could have it so that this is the top level function that takes takes this snippet. Mm, we're kind of re reproducing this. Mm, yeah, we're doing the uh, recurse thing there, though. We don't really want that. So, yeah, okay, this is just the starter. So, we can come in here. Could maybe just pass the body and that's enough. Possibly the date. If we want to um, set a particular date. At the moment, I don't think we need to. Um, so let's. We're going to call this well if we do make this the top level
Mm. There's lots of different ways we can do this. So let's um, let's make it simple for the moment. We need to make a small change. He says small change. I need to make a change here to that. So that the manager, or rather his database connection is being passed down into the expand body. So that it can be passed into the expand snippet. Because we're going to need that at some point. But I suppose first what we need to do is just make sure that this move has worked. So let's get the move working and then we'll deal with that. Um, so we're in manager here. We'll have to do a tidy in a minute. Make sure everything's in place in the modules. So, okay. Think that's okay for the moment in the test. In the placeholders itself, I think I need to I think I'm going to do this as get expand it. Body. for abbreviation. I know it's a bit long-winded there. But I think this is going to make it a little bit easier or kind of just more natural. We're going to have some sort of snippet We're going to either be in the CLI, we're going to actually just pass in an abbreviation, send it across to dbus, does this, passes back the body, cursor offset. Or if, or if we're doing the triggering, we've got to the point of using get snippets ending with abbreviation to the point where we found one and then we want to expand it. It's all kind of very abbreviation based. So I think that's fine. And then And then we can start doing its stuff where it goes and gets yeah
Mm -hmm. Go do it then. Yes. So why does it not do control P that I'm not used to? Copy and paste, we'll just do that. Right. So get expanded body for abbreviation returns. I don't really even need to you know. Expense placeholders in turned body with cursor offset. Okay. Oh, it does nothing at the moment, but that's fine. All we want to do is do the testy things and stuff so yep i'm gonna do make do make clean and i'm gonna do a make tidy because i'm pretty sure things have changed It's taking its time. I wonder why it does that. I think there's something wrong there. I think I've got something set up wrong. Let's do a make. Seem to be okay. And then a make test. Go base. Okay, all passed. Uh, so in the manager we now have yeah badly named tests okay I needed to change that test expanded test expand body is not right okay Need to make that test manager and then move the expand. Okay. Let's fix them up. Right, we're going to change test. Expand body to test manager. Expand body. So that's expand body, expand body, that's standing, that's expand body. Yeah, we're only doing expand body, we're not actually testing the individual functions underneath, but they are getting exercised. Okay. There we go. All passed. Fine. Okay. Let's, I think we'll commit that. 
Nothing's actually using these things yet anyway. Yet. Okay. All right then. So snippets. Let's now change. So what we're going to have to do. Um, we've got to do the same as we're doing in the Vala code. So. What we have is we have a level check and then we have a, um, yeah, there we go. Um, and then we have um, basically we go down in, into it again. So we're going to be basically calling ourselves right at the beginning before we do the dates and clipboard and cursor. Now uh, we want to expand all the snippets as much as possible. Within that bit. Before it gets processed. So, expand snippet placeholder. Yeah, okay. Got to be careful here. So it takes um, takes the current substring and the entire result, which is interesting. Why does it do that? It doesn't return. Why did I do that? No. No. Ah, okay. Because the cursor. That doesn't make sense in this context.
I could do that. I think in my this might be a level too far. I'm going to try it without a six because it's. I think I've done things the other way around in the Go code. So I think we might be okay, but I'm going to have a go. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, don't think I need to do the extra. level there because we've already done it effectively we'll see we will see um Mm, then again, maybe not. Thinking about it. Mm, okay, well, let's try. Um, we will... Just thinking whether I should do that text stuff. Do the macro stuff and the cursor as well. Take that. So here, we effectively actually we need that as this thing, signature. But it's slightly changed.
Yeah. Okay. Let's try this. I think. I think what we can do. Is call back to the body, expand body, and then we don't need to do any of the cursor stuff inside here. We'll see. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll just see how it plays out when I put it together. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, at some point we may have translatable snippets in our macros. Um, so we'll do that thing there. And then we'll do the same as we do here. Rather yeah. Yeah, all we need Take that, because what I want to do is if we find at and then the current macro, which will only be snippy at the moment. Then Yeah, then we want our get the rest so it's almost the same as date I need to actually I need to double check what I say here yeah yeah there's a colon yep so if we going through we found this segment here we've just said if this exists We now want everything from here, but we don't need the colon. So we're going to do that bit, which is the same as we do in here. So we're taking the rest. And then we want um, oh actually <laughs> we can do this even easier all we want
is everything after that colon. So we do that. That should give us, in theory, an abbreviation. Let's call that abbreviation, in theory. Um, and then that means what we can do is um, this snippet. Um, is ah uh, now this is where we come unstuck. So we need the manager passed in. Yeah. Okay. We could we could make them all hang off the manager. Is that a good idea? Does that work for private functions? Well, I guess we're going to find out. So let's see what happens. Oh, it's not complaining. Okay. If we do this, so they're all consistent. Actually, no, they don't need it. So the expand board date and cursor don't need it. So why do it? It's just complicated matters. It's just the snippet stuff that does. So here. Yeah. Hmm, yeah, we'll see. Okay, so we've got a manager coming here. So we can now do um, dot uh, get snippet with abbreviation.
There's not a cotoneal, then something's gone wrong, and we can just basically return. At this point, we don't need errors. Can't do anything with them. We just run expand. So I might take that error off there because we don't do it on the date or cursor either. We just return the values. Yeah. So we will return in that case the substring. And the cursor offset. Why is that complaining at the moment? I guess we're not returning anything. And then here. We'll come to that in a minute. So here, okay, so we've done the thing. Actually, that is going to be the same. If we get down here, nothing's happened. And we just return what we've got. But here, we found something. And we just want its body expanded. And the cursor offset. Yeah, and I think that cursor offset and expand body needs to be fixed up. I think it needs to be additional. Yeah, I'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, yeah, so what we have here is We call it expand body.
and the place and the snippet that we've just expanded doesn't have any placeholders. It will just return the body, cursor offset and nil error. Which just needs to be placed in the substring. And then these will just skip through. If it does have any placeholders, like a date, it's going to come in, skip itself, expand the date into that new into that body into that substring Yeah, because these are, because it's kind of like, yeah, 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 okay. got to be careful about how I handle this now. I've got to remember, this is actually not delimited. So that's finding the date macro. That's finding the cursor macro, where that's already been set, potentially. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to remember, remind myself how these things work now. Okay, so... Macro comes in. We find it. In theory. And we can be super safe here and say it's got to have colon, otherwise it's useless. I might regret that. But we'll come back to that. Because maybe we should be just like... Returning blank if we don't find it. did I do in here? Yeah, no, I 
did. I did look for it. Yeah. We don't have that, but I'm going to expand it. So that's fine. Yeah, and see, we were resetting the offset here. Yeah, because it's, it's all the substrings put together. It's the result. I might have to pass in the body. I might have to pass in the current result. Because otherwise we don't really have a good way of knowing where we are. Because we're doing bits of the substring and we don't have the entire length. That's why we've got the sub bit. Okay, we'll see in a second because I can I can retrofit that. Let's finish off again the actual snippet bit working. So, um, what we're going to do here then is uh, yeah, expand body. I'm going to have to. We don't need We don't need the error there yet. Certainly not using that. I'm going to take that out. It's going to break a whole bunch of stuff in the tests, but I don't think we need it, and I don't want to... I think the important thing is that we get a string which may or may not be expanded. So my theory is then that we can do something like result
Okay, so offset. Is equal to m dot expand body the snippet body the current cursor offset date that have just been passed in and the level Although, in theory, Hmm. I just wondering. Yeah, I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to pass in the body. So the current body is this string. And then yeah. And then we'll say Yeah, because we have to we have to iterate over. Hmm. I really don't want to have to do that, but I'm going to have to.
Let's come through, don't stay. What about you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to. Okay. Right, we have to be careful here that we don't overwrite. And then we're gonna just have to do. You see, that's the thing. All right, well, we'll see. We'll do some tests. Um, Yeah. We'll see. I'm not sure whether this is going to work. I think I might have mucked things up there, but I'll give it a go. The body comes in. I've got a positive expansion there. Which may be
Yeah, you see, the thing is, what we know is that this result is going to replace the substring here and potentially be added to the result. And we know that while it's in here, we get uh, potentially at some point we might get the cursor set, which should be at some point in there. But we've already got result. Yeah, it's gonna, it has to work like that. We have to pass it through and back like that. Got no, yeah, I can't think of another way around that. Uh, so um, let's do the actual do. So we've got substring called expand snippet, and we need to pass in count cursor offset date level and the current result, whatever that is. And we may get back cursor offset. Do, 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 do the thing, come back, do the thing. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Maybe. Yeah, that's it. We have to add it on. Um, okay, so we're doing that. Coming down, coming through, expanding the body again into itself. Do need to be very careful here. So we need to check the level now to make sure we don't iterate forever. Um, and we also obviously need to increase the level as we go along so at the moment we've got any of that and i think where did i do that in here i did it at the top level didn't i yeah I think we'll do the same because that's a kind of safe place to do it. Uh, so Can I do the same? Can I do level plus plus? Apparently so. Um, if level is greater than three, I think we'll do that. We will just return. current body cursor offset when done uh, 
that stops the iteration, that stops us coming back in and going through the expand snippet again and again and again. Because we're passing level here. Which then gets passed back into expand body. Okay. I think we are good. Now I broke the tests. Um because we now need all the manager's stuff. So we'll nick that. Uh, get it from here. Have I got a skull in here? Oh, I'm in the wrong place. I want to be in here. Thank you. Yeah, I think we'll do that. I'm going to be adding different snippets though. And we'll need that as well. So. Oh, that's interesting. That's not happened before. So I can just reuse that from the other, the other test. That's kind of good and bad. Okay. Let's try it for the starts because what I could do is I can adjust the other tests so that they have uh, expanding ones in them. So. We want to do that. We don't have an error anymore. I might might regret that. But we'll see. Okay, so that's that one and then Yeah, we need to do the same here. We 
need to just get these working first. And then we need to do some tests of our expand snippet. We should have done search on press. Hey ho. At least I get to see the code again and make sure it's okay. God, there's so many tests. I just slowly build them up. You kind of. You don't realize, which is, I suppose it's good. It's nice to have all these tests. Really helps. What's the bit like? I'm back to like putting all these errors back in at some point. Okay, let's see, uh, in theory, in theory that's them all done. And then we've updated placeholders. Got a couple of things to sort out there, but that's fine. All right, tests. Let's see what happens. Everything passed. Wonders will never cease. Right. So now we need to test uh, expand snippet. Okay. 
So this will be interesting. It's kind of almost a duplication of everything we've done on the test side. <laughs> But we need snippets to do it. Well, let's start off with Okay, no, no, hold on, yes. We're doing it at the expand body level. We want to make sure that things work as expected. So. How about how about we start by breaking these tests? and add in a couple that will disturb the date uh, the sort of count stuff here but we can fix that and then test with the expand body stuff. Yeah. Okay, so let's do Let's do a super simple one here. We'll call it DT and in it it's going to have dollar dollar date and we'll put a specific format in so that it doesn't Go to Lani. I will just do this. Yep. And then once I finish it off, that'll be interesting. Then we'll do another one, which is going to be called. Snip hit, which is really, really nutsy. Think of that. And in it, it's going to have snip it. And it's going to look for the DT. date is uh, 
I'll end it off with a thing as well. Okay. That'll get us going, stars, and then we can start adding more. That's not a good test, actually. Because we don't need to do the, ex the expansion into that. So let's do something slightly better than that. It's not a real, that's not a good example at all. Um, let's do... Yeah, let's just do a recursion thing just to make sure. So what we're gonna do, and we'll do it in different order as well. So what we'll do here is we can start off with that, but then it's gonna do snippet one. This is level zero. This is level one. This is level two. This is level three. This is level four. And now we should, we're basically at the point now where we shouldn't ever begin these expanded into each other. But we will put them there just in case as a test. So this is level five, which should not happen unless we call it as individually. Um, yeah, I'm not even going to bother to add another one there. This is level five. And I'm not even going to try and recurse any more. Okay. Just so we know. Uh, right. And then we probably should do a, something which is a little bit more 
useful as well. So we'll take this Do uh, something like I don't know, uh, test. Let's go email. I'm going to say, Hi, this is an email. And we'll call SIG. And we'll just take a simple one here. Let's see. And cheers. Right. <laughs> so in the end, when this it gets expanded, it should say, hi, this is an email. And then it should have blank space, cheers, team, snippet pixie. Okay. So combine in a couple of different snippets there. Um, so as that, so if we were to change that in the future, it gets changed. All right, and then we've got um, a little test here, which is doing double duty because it's checking that make sure that snippet doesn't cause problems with the macro finder, placeholder finder. Um, and then it rates down into it. So this is level zero, one, two, three, four. So, okay. So now that's going to break the existing tests that have any kind of counting going on like this. So let's just uh, run that. Um, get all the breakage. So one line seven, three is not equal to two and three one two, okay. Yeah, because we've added uh 
what have we had which was ending in P then? Ah, it's probably... Is it finding that? No. Email, snippet, snippet, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, get snippets is doing a search. Yeah, so that's fine. Yeah, that's what we do, because it's got SP. Um, and then three, one, two. We now have 12 snippets. And that's doing a search for all of them. Okay, it's more breakage, I'm sure. Again, more so 202 and 313. Okay. That SP one is going to be quite late in the list now. I'll have to look at that. Okay, so um, 202. Yep. Doing a search again there. And then three one three is going to be fun to work out. Ah, uh, what? How did I end up? Right, so uh, this P is going to be quite late on. All of these, well. It's then yeah. So we've added one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine before it. So in theory ten. We'll see. Okay, so three, three, five. All right, so we're removing a snippet there. Okay, that's fine then. That's going to be wrong. Uh, that is going to be it's going to be eleven again because I should know it's going to be ten because we've now got twelve. And it should be the last one, I think. We'll see. It passed. Good. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Good stuff. Okay. Uh, right.
right. I probably should get on with my day. Um, do I do a quick placeholders test here? Take that. Just do a quickie, and then I'll put a to do. Just so I know what I'm doing. So, expand body. Um. before we go any further. Let's have a thing here where we are going to put let's do let's make this more useful so hi two new lines cursor And then two new lines. Actually, I need one there. Do I do? Donk. Yeah. So on the blank lines, so it's going high, comma. New line, blank line, cursor, onto new line, blank line, then a cursor, uh, then cheers, blah, blah, blah. Yep. That's straight after. Let's put a space in between that as well, so it looks like. Right. Okay. Right. Just wanted to make sure that when I do the uh, email one, I can test for getting the cursor in an expanded snippet. Because we wouldn't have a test otherwise. So it should retain its position as it goes down and out. And not end up at the end. So expand body. Um, which one should we do? Let's do just snip it. Snip it. Placeholder. Level.
leave that to see if it actually expands because I want it to actually I want it to blow up so that I can see the difference between the expect and the actual let's see what it actually does that would be interesting um, let's go into I think I've actually got another one open in them I yeah. test device oh, yeah that's not where I want to do it okay uh, let's do it where it's supposed to be uh, which is what level are we yeah internal manager Right. So that did not expand at all. Oh yeah, I never asked it to. <laughs> oh no, I did. Oh. Yes. Let's do an at symbol. Did I do at symbols everywhere? At, 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 at. Not in there, I didn't. So, sig, at snippet, at snippet, yeah. All right. Another go. Perfect. You get one, two, three expansions. That's fine. And then this last one does not get expanded. Okay. I uh, will do here. Let's see if we can get that quickly test. Passed in, so what we are expecting is this is level zero. New line. This is level one. New line. This, yeah, this is level two, new line, and then ends with that. Uh, do we have a new line on it? No. Is previous. One. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if that works. Not quite.
what's different then? This is level zero. One, two, step it three. Always end with a full stop. Really? What's wrong? Hmm, I wonder if it's the uh, new lines. They are exactly the same, but this has got a dot 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 for some reason. But that's not right, I mean that's... Okay, well, I do really need to kind of get on with my day. So, this might have to be something I debug later. Hmm, don't know what that is. Why? Is it the placement of these things? Mm. Can't tell. Don't know what that is. A quick test. I do the syntax, that's what we want to do. Mm hmm, that's interesting. It's 
almost. As if we've got an extra couple of dots there, I wonder, I wonder, really? Add them. Does that match? Cause that's not good. Oops, it passed. All right, well, that's not what we want. So there is something wrong there. But I haven't really got time to start delving into that. So. Do why is this test failing? There are two extra expansion. Okay, so we'll have to dive into that. And we've got some more to do's as well. To do test email snippet with cancer. I think I'll do for that moment. Okay, right, I better go. Got lots to do today. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching. Um, until next time, take care.